All right, well, welcome. We have Shirley, Dr. Shirley Brugman today on the Fresno Rotary Spotlight. So Shirley, tell us a little bit about how you got started with Fresno Rotary. Thank you, Anna. Um, I started Rotary, I became a Rotarian of uh, the Rotary Club of Fresno, and it was a cold day in November of 1988. So I've been a member for a long time. And at that time, we were meeting at, um, if anybody's watching this, some of them might remember that we were meeting uh, at the old Hilton Hotel in downtown Fresno, and you would uh, park down in the basement and then you would take that that old rickety elevator to hopefully it would take you to the second floor where the banquet room was and uh, I just I'll never forget that day it was uh, it was a momentous day in my life and um, uh, my sponsor uh, was Skip Kirshner and Skip Kirshner at that time was the regional manager of PG&E. And um, I was doing some things with Skip at the Chamber of Commerce and he said, why don't you join Rotary? I think you, you would be a good member and that you would enjoy it. So well, that's been a long time ago. I'm so glad you said yes and thank you so much thank for you. being in Rotary. You know, people, you always remember who sponsored you. You always remember, you know, how they invited you and what it was first like. Um, to join and I've heard stories about not only getting to that parking lot but then also everyone trying to leave at the same time and I know it's, it's bumper to bumper all the way is it that rounded one yeah yes yes here we go. Yeah. but um, but you know it was just it was it was part of the fun of it and uh, part of what we'll always remember so well and you've gone on um, with, with committees and you've served on their board and then you were um, serving as a president of the Rotary Club of Fresno and I was lucky enough to work with you for a year and I think people don't know that you start preparing in advance with a large club years before and the year prior and then all of a sudden here's July 1 and you know you've got your team ready and then there goes the year so fast. Uh, Very fast but you're absolutely right and well always be thankful for the support I was given by you and, and by the board. And um, yeah, you know, Rotary, and particularly our club because of its size, uh, I often uh, speak of it as being like a well-oiled piece of machinery. You know, it, it just does keep going. It changes depending a great deal on the personality of, of who's president. Uh, but um, we do prepare, and that's what makes, you know, keeps it going and, and has kept it going for as long as it has. Yes, well, thank you for your service. And you've gone on to serve at the district for the assistant district governors, for the, you know, support system for the Territory 10 presidents as well. It, it was an assignment where um, I, I was sort of a, an in-between the district governor and so I was sort of a buffer and so when she had things that she wanted to be conveyed to the presidents in the clubs here in Territory 8, I would get them together and the best thing that, that came out of those sessions with those presidents was that they shared with each other because even though they're, you know, different in their size and their culture and so forth, they all have some commonality. So getting, you know, getting together, uh, they were able to share, you know, I really tried this and uh, it didn't work. How are you doing it? And so I think they developed a, uh, a great fellowship uh, at that time. So it was fun. Yeah, well, and, and it, it brought together other presidents of what we were trying to do and you know, there's a network of large clubs. I mean, it's it's all for the intention of bringing people together for Rotary and serving your community. And, you know, thank you for being such a great support system for, for those presidents. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, it, it was fun. It, it was, so. Well, we've got this pandemic happening and, and I know you're seeing your daughter and grandkids. And I, I, I think you've started painting too. Is that a, a painting in the background? What you've been up to? 
Well, I, I kind of feel like I've become queen of Zoom or something, you know, because, you, you know, um, I'm accustomed to being out and about a lot, like most people. And so making that adjustment uh, in some ways has been really difficult. But, um, but I think people just being who we are, m people become creative in, in how they're going to, um, how they're going to survive. You know, how, how, how are they going to make a day worthwhile? And so, um, so I do do Zooming. I'm still, in fact, when I finish talking with you in a few minutes, I'll be uh, Zooming with my uh, town hall board, which I you know, stay with. And, um, and I have a book club, and we do our book club discussions that way. And uh, so um, that little painting that you uh, alluded to, uh, it's been about two years ago, and I thought, hmm, you know, I'm a proponent of lifelong learning, and so I thought, you know what, you know, so I took this class, and, um, but I had, I had not done very much with it, and, and so when um, the virus hit, I went out in the garage, and I brought in the, the container, uh, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be called, that had some brushes in it, and some paints, and so forth, and so, so I've sort of taken it back up. And an interesting thing about painting is that I can sit and I can, if the time goes so fast and I'll look at the clock and I'll think, oh my gosh, you know, two hours has gone by. And um, so it, it's, you know, I'll listen to music or maybe talk radio and um, it gives you a time to reflect on the past and and also you know be thinking about what the future might hold yeah. so um so yeah you know we're we're all struggling through it you know yeah well what i'm finding is is that while i got to see more people i've also what a great opportunity to have some of these one-on-ones with yourself and the different phone calls and reaching out with emails it's it's connecting more in a different way, more a little more personal, I guess, is maybe the way to put it. But yeah, I I, I think you're right in that you know there are I think you know we maybe use the word we overuse the word of kindness, but I see a lot of that happening, and I uh, you know if I haven't talked to my neighbor. You know, I, I, I want to call her and see, you know, how she doing, you know, or I'm, I'm, you know, I have to go to Vaughn's. Is there anything I can bring her back? That type of thing. So uh, I agree with you. I think this is, um, uh, you know, causing us to think about others more than we may have when we were busy here and busy there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was great to check in with you and see that things are going well. And I look forward to seeing more of your paintings. So. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Thanks, Shirley. Thanks.